Okay, I've got some real good news uh, to share today. Um, I learned a lot in the last few days. Um, I've got the Jewel Thief running on a supercapacitor. It's um, a 50 farad, 2.5 volt supercapacitor, and this will run uh, pretty much all night. And it's drawn less than 10 uh, 10 milliamps on the circuit. And uh, I think this is the way I'm going to go. I'm just I, I rewired this so that just one supercapacitor would run the whole thing. Uh, it's a little bit different uh, than the standard circuit, but it seems to work quite well. And I learned that from that Bedini um, um, Jewel Thief thing that I was doing the other day. Uh, by the way, I figured out why it was appearing not to use energy was the battery on uh, this voltmeter was going dead and as it went down it caused the voltage reading to go up so as the day went on and that wore down the voltage appeared to go up but I, I rectified it but anyway um, that solved that mystery but the big news besides the super cap is this right over here this is a solar charger for a cell phone or an mp3 player and inside that is a lithium battery. It's a 1500 milliamp 5 volt lithium battery. And it's for charging your cell phone or your MP3 player. Now, it's got a wall of plug in if you want to charge it up that way or uh, use the sun. And uh, it works great on a cell phone. But I found out today if you run this through a voltage regulator and uh, put the energy in that supercapacitor, uh, that solves the problem. Pretty much this would run until something broke. But uh, yeah, if you just had this in the sunlight uh, every day, it would charge itself up and then download the uh, power into the jewel thief at night. But you see that little light going on there? And I'll make it go off here. There it goes off. I don't know if the camera can see that or not. But uh, as soon as it gets light on it, that thing goes on and it's charging when that light is on. So uh, that pretty much solved the Jewel Thief project. I just need to get this all boxed up and like I said I decided to use a supercapacitor because uh, the amount of energy in that one supercapacitor is enough to give you the light uh, at night. Uh, it gets down to real 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 dim in the morning but you know that's after nine hours so who cares. And then like I say you just have that in sunlight the next day and download the energy that's in that lithium battery into the Jewel Thief and away you go again. Now I've also got this set up so you can take the battery and you can energize this um, super cap with the battery. Just stick it on there and that loads the super cap up from the battery and that loads it on up to the whatever the voltage is in that and the, here again that makes it run another seven, eight, nine hours or whatever. So anyway that was that. But this was the real big interesting thing today. I worked with the felter chip, the felter module which was a Paul uh, Kubikop's deal and uh, I found something extremely interesting. Um, I started working with it with uh, evaporation cooling on this aluminum and then uh, heat on the other side and I found out that it would uh, it would produce energy uh, especially if I put my hand on it here it would produce energy with uh, almost uh, the differential between the uh, temperature of the evaporation of that water and sponge and the body temperature. And uh, then I also found out that uh, it is an inductor. You can use this for induction. And I, I still don't quite understand the dynamic of why that filter module works this way, but this is called a filter module. and there is the uh, voltage coming out of it right now just with the air temperature and the cooling that's happening from evaporation. Now I also found out if you hook up an earth ground to this, this is my earth ground, it just goes right on out that door into a stake in the ground outside there. And that's what I've been using for earth ground, but it makes a tremendous difference on this thing here. Now if I hook this up, this will... Um, increase quite quite amazingly. That's with it off and that's with it on. Now I'm going through a bridge rectifier. I'm also using a diode on the positive of the filter module. But take a look at that. That's what's coming off of the filter uh, right now. Um, now if I touch this with my hand, 
you'll see it go up. See, that's with my body, my body heat. But this was the real find. I got to wondering if you could take an incandescent light and shine it on the top here and maybe paint that black and the heat from the light would cause a differential. So I started playing around with this light here and I found out by accident that there's a transformer in there and it's live. And if you get that near this chip here, watch this. That is induction coming off of that transformer in there. Now, there's where it sits right there, about three quarters of a volt. I'm going to turn this light on. Look at that. Now I'm over a volt. Turn the light off. Turn the light on. So these uh, filter modules can be used as inductors. But then I took this uh, one step further. And this is my little fluorescent light that I built here. Check this out. There's where the voltage is right now. I'm going to turn this on and place it on that filter. went off scale. Let me turn the scale here. Okay, now I'm at 6 volts. That's with this making an induction system right there. Now I'm going to touch the bulb. Watch this. It goes off scale again. Let me move the scale up here. That's 34 volts, folks. That's a, a 200 volt scale in the meter, and that's 34 volts. And that's coming out of the filter going through a bridge rectifier and into that meter. Now that's without me touching it. This is with me touching it. That's without me touching it. That's with me touching it. So this was uh, quite a find. So what I did beyond that is I took a capacitor, a very small one, and I loaded up a capacitor. And sure enough, you can draw energy off of that put her in a capacitor, and guess what, folks? Then you can run your jewel thief. And um, I took a, a different uh, capacitor and loaded it up for a while, put it up to about a volt, and uh, off it went. So anyway, this bears more investigation is this filter module. It's called a filter module. And you get one side hot and one side cold, and it produces uh, electricity. Um, there's lots of potential with this one. But anyway, that was the day today. It was a very, very successful day. I did a lot, learned a lot, and hopefully this will help somebody else in their experiments.